my Germany England review. Hello guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're we'll doing my Germany one England one review. Um a lot to take away from this game, um that's for sure. My reaction, uh this is my review, my reaction video should be coming out either later tonight or tomorrow. Uh it was with Teddy, it was um yeah, very interesting that's for sure. But should we get into the review? A lot to take out of this game. Uh, as I do with Coventry City, I do like a lineup, you know, reacting to my lineup prediction. I'm not doing that with England. Um, you know, I've got this shirt on. And then I'm not doing that with England. I'm just going to talk about the game. And a um, very interesting game. Yeah, you know, we go into this game, you know, losing to Hungary is, is never a nice feeling. You know, going away to Hungary, losing to Hungary is never a nice feeling. And. I get that we weren't absolutely outstanding uh, this tonight uh, last night even we were pretty pretty wasteful in possession pretty poor in our play um, and we just did not look great and you know with us winning the World Cup it's become a bit more of a joke than reality now um, and that's that's why I think us winning the World Cup would have thrashed Hungary. I think we could have scraped a win over Germany. I think we could have scraped a win over Germany last night. We had the chances to win. Came and we were one one. You know, it, it did just bounce over his foot, but you, you know, knowing him, he should be burying that. So, a lot to take away from this game. Um, a lot of a lot of you know negatives and a lot of positives. Um, one of the positive is we didn't lose. We scored an eighty eight minute equaliser. <laughs> yeah. We scored, we scored an 88th minute equaliser, so, yeah, definitely not nice, and for me, it was a penalty, um, intentional or not, you slip, you slip, in my, in my eyes, I think he didn't slip, I think he purposely tried to look like he slipped, to bring down Kane, then it'll be like, but he slipped, he tried to outsmart the ref, didn't outsmart the ref, that's my opinion, probably, he probably didn't do that, probably just slipped, to be fair to him, but, um, yes, this is getting going, but before we even go into the match analysis, Kane, is he the best striker in the world? He's broken so many records with England. He is, firstly, the quickest England player to get to 50 goals, um, better than Wayne Rooney, by a year and five days, I believe, which is astonishing, <laughs> honestly brilliant. Um, he then, he's only three off Wayne Rooney with 53, he's on, Kane's on 50, Wayne Rooney's on 53, so three off uh, Wayne Rooney, I think uh, all-time goal scorer at uh, England. Kane, without Kane, England, you know, just wouldn't be England, we wouldn't be where we are if it wasn't for Harry Kane, and that's the truth. Um, you know, yeah, we may have had other strikers like Tammy Abraham, breaking through the scene, Bankford, uh, Watkins, Ings, maybe. We've got a lot of more England uh, talent, uh, a lot more English uh, strikers, but without Kane, we're nothing. And it shows our, all our involvement is around Harry Kane. And uh, and you can see why he is just world class. He is just a world class player. And honestly, any team would dream to have him. Any team would dream to have him, and that's just facts. Um, he's one off or the best striker in the world at the moment. He's him, Benzema, and Lewandowski. Um, Son doesn't count as a striker; he counts as a winger. But yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I think Kane's either first or second. He's definitely not third. Um, world class striker. We wouldn't be anywhere without him. So we go to the game. The one that lost to Hungary, which was uh, you know, pretty disappointing. We go to this game, you know. German England, it's a massive, massive game and it needs to live up to the expectations of the hype around this game. It's massive and you can see why at times, you know, the first, I would say, 15 20 minutes were very end to end. We looked shaky as. Um, and Harry Maguire, uh, you know, Kai Abbott's used his body very well with um, Harry Maguire, um, but, you know, Harry Maguire tried to rest. <laughs> So manhandle Kavertz. Guess he ended up being on the floor. Yeah, Harry Maguire. Yeah, not brilliant. 
Um, the hand offside goal from that as the boot up and Kravitz turned Maguire, but it was Hoffman who was offside, way offside. And a bit of a thing saying that it touched Harry Maguire, if it did, it would have been onside. But I don't, I don't really think it did touch. It may have touched Harry Maguire, but may not have. But getting into the, you know, they scored. Roger got offside, luckily, man. Honestly, my heart was, like, beating fast. I was like, God's sake, we're 1-0 down to Germany. We're going 1-0 down to Germany. We're done. Um, and we had a few chances to be fair in the first half. Uh, Kane... You know, it was, it was a half chance, half chance, it was a cross in, and Han Maguire and Neuer, you know, Neuer went up for the ball, Han Maguire went up for the ball as well, it just dropped down to Kane, absolutely smashes it over, and there was a few other chances, um, you know, Mason Mount just shot at least three, four times in that game, and just didn't shoot, decided not to shoot until the second half, it just... Uh, to Saka got a shot off, just say for Neuer. Another one, Saka cuts in, left foot, it just curls it wide. So, he's had chances, Saka, very good chances, very unlucky with the curler, and a good save from Manuel Neuer. Um, maybe he should have squared it, Saka, but at the moment, do you think to square it when you're in a free shooting area? No, not really. So, can't blame, can't fault the man. Uh, can't blame him for shooting. And a few more. And chances came our way, you know, in the midfield is really that midfield battle. We won, if when we won the ball in the midfield, we looked so dangerous. We picked out that right pass or, you know, Bellingham in that midfield. You know, in the first half he was, you know, good, he was good. But that second half, he was class. He was world class in that second half. And, you know, winning the ball back a load of times. Carl Walker was a bit poor, um, but we'll get on to that. Yeah, so the first half, nil-nil. Probably on the fair share of the game, probably should have been like 1 0 down. A 0 0 was fair, but you know, we could have been 1 0 down easily. Um, Kane blocked off the line as well and uh, Pickford saved it. That was another chance in the first half from Germany. I had a few more, I'm trying to rethink. Uh, they had a few more chances here and there, which they, to be fair, they could have scored to make it 1 0. So going into the first half, Eight minutes added on in the first half because Calvin Phillips was injured, um, which um, hopefully hopefully he can uh, get back to fitness quite quickly. It's a uh, pretty bad dead leg. Um, so yeah, first half ended nil nil. I was I was a bit like you know the second half is down to nothing really, isn't it? It's like, do we want to win this? Are we up for it or are we not up for it? And you know it goes into the second half. I'm nervous, of course. You know. It's Germany away. Um, so, you know, we go into the second half, you know, we looked pretty sharp um, in the first four minutes. We looked, you know, we looked the better side. But then came just a brilliant pass into Hoffman, who uh, had a shot. You know, Pickford could have done better. Yes, yeah, I know he could have done better. So, you know, ball came it right at him. He just powered into his own net. It's not like that. He was on the... He was, I don't know what he thought. I think he thought the swerve on the ball or you know, he thought the shot would have been a bit better because the shot was awful right at Pickford, just stand still and if you catch that uh, so yeah a bit disappointed with Pickford's performance in that, he, he played very well though um, so yeah it's a poor poor keeping from Pickford but at the end of the day it's not the end of the world um, at that time still like 40, 40 odd minutes to come back and uh, try and get the result Try and get at least a draw. A draw away at Germany was brilliant. You can tell by my reaction, I was wanting a draw. I know I love a win, of course. I'll, I'll, I'll be over the moon with a win. But at that current time, I was like, just a draw. A draw will do. Uh, and, you know, it came there. It's like a very interesting, you know, second half from there. You know, we made a sub with Bellingham and Phillips. Bellingham in the second half was... A different player from the first. He was outstanding in the second half. Rice as well was outstanding. Trippier was getting that license to go forward a bit more. Um, and we started to dominate as always. You know, we're one 0 down. We have to go for it. We dominant. We started to dominate the possession play. It was like a corner, and then Germany won the corner. Uh, you know, won the ball from their box. Had another chance. Pickford came out really quick and decisive. And a brilliant save. Um, 
it was a good one on one save and that's definitely made it up for him. As soon as Jack Grealish came on, we were a different team. We were a different team and I I do agree with that YouTuber's name. Oh, I need to check it. I definitely agree with Yeah, no. It was like running, not running. I don't actually know what was her name. What was his name? Oh, oh yeah. Roy. No, Rory. Rory. Yeah, Rory Jennings. Yeah, that was it. Uh, he said Jack Reed did start every game for England. Agree with him. As soon as Kane, Kane came on, no, Greenish came on, we were a different team, and that just says something. And people can say, yeah, he's a, he's a bench, you know, he's a super sub. Oh yeah, as soon as he came on, Germany's defence was so clueless. Sterling in that cam roll, Greenish on that wing, is deadly, and it nearly happened. That that deja vu, the deja vu, when. You know, Sterling pass it to Grealish. Grealish whips it in. And he just did that head header and came in. That would have literally been the iconic moment. But no, driven it across the box. Kane with a sliding finish. Great save from Neuer. Brilliant save from Neuer. We had a few more chances. Um, Maguire had a chance. Good save from Neuer. We had a few chances and so did they. Um, you know, Pickford made an outstanding cross the line finish uh, save. Ball came, a cross came in. No one was pressing the crosser, so he just had a free cross. Good cross. Back state volley. Cross the line quickly, Pickford. Good save. Good reaction save. Uh, it's near post. Then came the goal, and it was a bit of weird play. Um, there wasn't much going on. Eight, seven minutes, like we needed goals from somewhere. Yeah, so Kane was like, it was. A bit of weird play to be fair, the ball came in, a little touch from someone, and Kane was going to get it. Um, I forgot his name, Schroffman or something like that. Literally just tripped him up. It was a clear and obvious penalty. No pen, said the ref. No pen. No, I picked up, lopped it, sat it on the run, good interception from Walker, and every England player was like, penalty ref, check, penalty. So, um, they went to the, uh, the, the VAR, VAR said ref and he's good to the monitor, as soon as you go to the monitor, you know it was a penalty, went to the monitor, clear penalty, Whoop. penalty to England, I was like, oh thank the lord, it was like I knew Kane would score, Kane was on the pitch, Kane would score, and it was a very, very cool, calm penalty, and I loved that, and then nothing really happened from there, no real chances apart from a ball came in the box, Kane just missed the ball completely but you know at the end of the day it was alright so yeah a 1-1 draw looking at the table right now Italy oh uh, I'll make the table a bit bigger so I'll make it so you can't see my face so there you go um Italy stay top at the moment um with four points Hungary on three, Germany on two, and us, we're still last, but on one point, we beat Italy, we go level on points with Italy, if we beat Italy, and if Germany, let's say Germany and Hungary draw, then we'll be vibing, we'll be back in it, um, but yeah, that wraps up the video, a very interesting, in Germany, England 1-1 one, one draw, um, you know, the two rivals head-to-head, -head, and it was a very good draw indeed. Um, you know, I was very close to my prediction. I uh, went to the screen, but it was two. I predicted two on England. It was actually one one. So yeah, very interesting. Now that's the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and see you guys in the next one. Peace out.